The much-anticipated 2014 Forester is here at University Subaru. Newly redesigned, inside and out, with sleek styling, symmetrical all-wheel drive, and maximum performance, plus now 32 miles per gallon. Join us for the Subaru Love Spring event going on now and see the all-new Forester. All-wheel, all-weather, all-wow. Available in mid-Missouri, only at University Subaru. The wise choice. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, April the 23rd. And we've got a whole group of people with us today. Good start morning. off, yeah, start off with Diana Moxon, Columbia Art League. Good to have you here, Hello, Ms. Paul. Moxon. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, what going on with the Art League? We have a new show that opened last week. I mentioned it briefly last time I was here, but it's called Elemental. Elementals. Elemental. A elemental. Elemental. Okay. Like the uh, periodic table of elements. So it's yes. all about the periodic table. Okay. Do you remember that from when you were doing chemistry at school? Oh, you oh, have yeah. all those wonderful symbols. Well, once you delve into the periodic table, there's so much intrigue and mystery and color and, and history. And so we gave that out as the project. Give us a piece of art that is based on the periodic table. Mm -hmm. And so we had all the work come back in and it's all up hanging at the Art League now. And there's people, some people really went to town and put a huge amount of research into it. So it's yeah. a very interesting show. So how many pieces of artwork do you have on display? We have 68 artworks on display. Wow, with, with this particular show? Yeah, just for this particular show. And how long will it be up? They're up until the end of June or middle of June, around. Okay, the time. so you got plenty of time. You, you to got about a month it. and a half, two months yeah. to see it all. There, there is plenty to see, and so I've written on each of the cards. Sometimes the title of the work doesn't refer to the chemical symbol it represents. So if, there's a little cheat on the card. If you're looking around and thinking, well, I don't know why there's a photograph of fireworks. Fireworks, of course, are all made of elements, antimony, magnesium, phosphorus, and so I've written a little cheat sheet so you can see. Well, you had to do your homework on all of this, oh, didn't you? Oh, you know. Well, but you're a very intelligent work, lady, so. <laughs> 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 so you come down to the Art League, not only are you going to enjoy beautiful artwork, but you learn something, too. Get a little too. chemistry lesson. And we, what is really great, we worked with the children at Lee Expressive Art School, the fifth graders. We gave them all a little cardboard cube, and they were each given an element, and they designed on the cardboard cube the element, and then they're all strung together in the same columns as a periodic table. So you can see the Lee Expressive Art School fifth graders work as well on display as part okay. of the show. All right. So if people want to come down... It will be there till the end of June. But June the 20th. So June the 20th, mm -hmm. okay. And the Art League hours are? They are 11.30 to 5.30, Tuesday through Friday, and 11 till 5 on Saturdays. They can go to the website for more information, okay. www.columbiaartleague.org. Or you or can ring them up. They can ring me up. Yeah, they can ring you up, right? <laughs> on 443 8838. Now, if they ring you up on Monday, you won't be there, will you? You're not. No. You're, Monday if I am call. there, I'm not answering the phone. Well, you don't answer the phone if you're there on Monday. <laughs> I do. But D Diana, don't work. you work all the time there because the Art League is your love. It's your passion and love. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yes, indeed. All right. Diana, thank you thank so you, much for coming. We'll be talking about art in the park pretty soon. We will, soon. very soon. Now, we've got a whole studio full of people with a young, <laughs> talented people here also today from Hickman High School. I want to start off, first of all, and introduce you to uh, Sarah Gerling. And Sarah, Hello. tell me about this. Good to have you here, Sarah. Oh, very good to be here. Tell me, wh who'd you bring out here? Well, I brought four of the students who are participating in our current production of Our Town. Mm -hmm. Which we, opens when? Which opens tomorrow. Tomorrow. The 24th, and then it runs uh, Friday and Saturday as well, 7.30 so each night. So they were able to get away from rehearsal and school this morning, <laughs> even though you're opening tomorrow to come That's out here right. and promote it. That's right. Exactly. Okay, can I talk to the students Absolutely. now? Absolutely. So we, we have the director over here, and this is? Megan. Okay. Megan, tell me about uh, Our Town. Um, Our Town is a play. It's divided into three acts, and it just kind of is the story of daily life in the town of Grover's Corners. Uh -huh. so and where is Grover's Corners at? New Hampshire. Oh, New Hampshire. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so and it's so, a small town. Yeah. So what, what do we learn from Our Town? Um, it just... It describes daily life there in love and marriage, and then the last act talks about death and eternal life. And mm -hmm. so it really it's it's 
really all about life. It is. It's, yeah. it's how we live our life. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people are in the production? Um, we got a whole crew full. It's in the advanced acting class from Hickman, so there's a 20 or so. Okay, and you brought three with us today. Yes, we got, <laughs> got our stars over here. Oh, the stars are here. Okay, and they got star treatment. They were brought in here in a limo. <laughs> <laughs> helicopter. The know. limo and the helicopter. Okay, and you are? Hi, I'm Jaden Messner. Um, and Jaden, the character you play is? I'm playing Emily Webb. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Emily. So she's kind of, she's an average girl. Um, she's intelligent, and she knows that she's intelligent. So <laughs> no, she does. Okay. No, she does. What, was it Spoilers. hard getting into character, Emily? <laughs> it is a little, it's, it was a little tricky at first, okay. just because the time period is a little bit different. Yeah. Um, but she's very relatable on the whole. Okay. Like she's, she's very somebody that the audience can connect with. She right. has her own troubles and such. Right, and then behind you we have. Hey, I'm Matt Peterson. Okay, good to meet you, Matt, <laughs> and your character is. I play the stage manager, and the stage manager is a character who's like a narrator, and it's interesting because our town sort of functions on both the theater level and the audience level. Because normally the stage manager would be a tech crew person who yeah. would, you know, call cues and say, this light cue goes next. But uh, the stage manager kind of connects with the audience, and it's his job to form a relationship with them and tell them what's going to happen next. Okay, and you've got a great voice for that, too. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right. So the stage manager, and then last but not least we have... Uh, Tyler King. Good to have you here, Tyler. Nice you. And your character? Uh, George Gibbs, and he's basically just your average teenage boy, loves baseball, and... Um, Kind of has some growing up to do in the first act, but really, once he meets Emily, she kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's oh, okay, a, there's so a there's a connection, connection right here. Yeah. So you're a teenage boy mm -hmm. in, in the play, and yeah. Emily is how old? Um, she, we're, we both start out yeah. 16 in the first act, mm -hmm. and then um, 19 in the second, and in our 20s in the third. So do you age at all with makeup, or are you still look pretty much the same? You're holding on to that youth. Yeah, we basically, <laughs> yeah, basically stay the same. Okay, so if people want to come and see the production of Our Town, it sounds it sounds like you guys have been working very, very hard. Yeah. You open tomorrow. I hope you all break legs. And you, know, you know what I mean by that. I'm wishing yeah. you good luck on it. So Our Town opens tomorrow. What time? 7.30. 7.30, and it runs how many days? Three nights. So it's tomorrow night, it's Friday night, and Saturday night, 7.30 each evening. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and tickets are how much? $5 for seniors and for students. $7 okay. seniors? for adults. What, what senior think? citizens. So, so what are, who, who are senior citizens? What age? Anyone who is willing to tell us <laughs> <laughs> and admit that they're a senior citizen. Will I'm a senior it. citizen. <laughs> okay. So what do you, you say? 55 or what? Sure. Okay. Sure. We'll go with 55. So if you're 55 or older, you can get in for a little bit cheaper. That's right. All right. Thank you so much for coming by Hickman Thank High School. You. We appreciate it. Best of luck to all of you. You're a delightful group of students, all right? We appreciate coming out today. Tomorrow, the uh, Farmers and Artisan Market in the School of Metaphysics. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Rachel Gangware. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. We'll see you tomorrow. Give yourself a round of applause there. You're good. <laughs>